other one. All right, so um, again, uh, I've got some stuff here, and uh, so we're gonna go into the stuff. And uh, without further ado, I would like to introduce everyone to a new character in the saga of the United States government, a new character known as Chairman Bernard Sanders. Let's go. Uh, to do, let me just be very clear as the incoming chairman of the uh, Senate Budget Committee. I remember what happened in 2010. And that is the Democrats during the 2008, 2010 period controlled the White House, they controlled the Senate, controlled the House. You remember that? Mm -hmm. And you remember what happened in 2010? Democrats got wiped out. They had the power, but they did not deliver for the American people. So what we have got to do right now, no ifs, buts, or maybes, is have an aggressive agenda that says we understand that millions of people, including my neighbors right here in Vermont, people are lining up in their cars in order to get emergency food. People can't pay their medical bills. People are going deeper and deeper into debt. People are facing eviction. Millions of people have lost their jobs. We have to act and act now. And the first order of business, by the way, is to pass an emergency COVID-19 bill, which among many other things, says to working class Americans, we know you're in pain and we're gonna get you a $2,000 check for every working class adult in this country. We are on your side. We are prepared to take on the big money interest who have so much power. We're gonna expand healthcare to cover the uninsured. We're gonna deal with student debt. We have got to be bold in a way that we have not seen since FDR in the 1930s. <coughs> oh man, oh shit. Fuck me. Um. <coughs> I'm sorry about that uh, not-so-smooth transition from video to commentary. Um, yeah, Bernie is right here. And if you want to scroll down, you can see some pure psychopath shit. But um, Bernie is right here. The Democrats uh, lost over 1,000 seats uh, during Obama's tenure. Why? Because they're garbage. They're ding-dong, dumb, bitch motherfuckers. That's why. And Bernard, Bernard is like, wait a second. I'm going to learn from the mistakes of the party that I caucus with, and I'm going to attempt, to the best of my ability, to prevent similar things from occurring in the future. And he said that on live television. So, um, and also, I just want to say, him pushing heavily for the 2K, now that uh, Democrats have taken the Senate, it's going to be interesting. You want to know why it's going to be interesting? Because Joe Schmo Manchin actually just came out a couple hours ago saying there is no way in hell that he's going to go for a 2K stimulus. Now, theoretically, all you need is to dump him and get like Mitt Romney on board or whatever. Josh Hawley, right? Like he was so in favor to that, right? So theoretically, you don't need Joe Manchin. Um, but at the same time, fuck Joe Manchin. And uh, I'm very interested to see how Democrats uh, deal with having power. Uh, they are going to have the House, Senate, and the presidency. Now, again, very slim margins, but they are going to have the House, Senate, and the presidency for the first time in a long time. And uh, that gives us a lot more power, us being the left, communists, anarchists, anyone in the space. Uh, that gives us a lot more power because now Republicans are not going to be dominating the news cycles. That's the big difference. They're just not going to be... Mitch McConnell blocking legislation isn't going to be front page on the newspaper every single day. And that's going to change the Overton window. That's going to change the conversation. And uh, I'm here for it. So sign me up. 